God. That's why you, you know what I mean? Have a, a problem, you know what I mean? And, and that area of trust you, you know what I mean? And all I can say is give him a chance. You know what I mean? And uh, see what he can do in your life. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I, I'm sure I've been serving God now. I've dedicated my life for eight years. And I know that, you know, I have my days where it's up and down, you know what I mean? But as long as I keep on pressing on, reading my word, getting some prayer, you know what I mean? I'm not perfect, but I strive, you know what I mean? To, to be better and to, you know, to do good, you know what I mean? But as long as you keep on doing that, you know what I mean? With a, with a full heart, with a righteous heart, you know what I mean? God's going to just have his way in my life, you know what I mean? And this is just a word of encouragement for those that, uh, find yourself in a place where, you know what I mean, hey, you're going through it, but just let you know that, you know, something good's going to come out of it, whatever it is that you're going through, you know, uh, just know that Jesus loves you, you know what I mean, and uh, you probably say, well, I'm not on here to hear about God, but, you know what I mean, this is what we practice, we're Christians, and uh, we're not condemn we don't condemn anybody, we love everybody, whatever you are, however you are, you know what I mean, because we were once lost. We were once miserable in, in our in our in our sin in our addiction. You know what I mean? But I just want to let you know that Jesus loves you and that He cares about you. And there's people out there that that love you and care about you. You know your family members, your loved ones. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Don't count, don't count it a coincidence when you know what I mean. You hear somebody tell you about Jesus because you know, God's knocking on your heart. God's knocking on that door. You know what I mean? He wants to touch you. He wants to change you, you want to do something in your life, you know what I mean, and, uh, you know, those that, uh, are probably, you know, have known God, too, you know what I mean, and have, you know, fallen away, or, you know, straight away, you know what I mean, you know, a lot of times, you know, we go through things as, as, as Christians, you know what I mean, and we ask ourselves, why, or we ask God, why, why, why am I going through this, or what's going on, and if, if you actually could look back at what's going on, it's because we weren't on a solid foundation. What's a solid foundation? It is our practicals, which is getting in our word, getting in our prayer, and getting to worship. You know what I mean? And, you know, you don't have to be perfect at it. As long as you're striving and you're doing it on a daily, you, become, you build yourself as a man and as a woman of God. You know what I mean? And God begins to do something in your life. Because when, when storms and trials happen, God begins to do something so that you're able to withstand those trials and those storms that, that are in your life. You know what I mean? Um, you know, you know, it hurts to see, you know, fellow brothers and Christians, you know what I mean? And sisters, you know what I mean? When, when, they, when they fall away, you know what I mean? But it's because, you know what I mean? Yeah, things happen, you know what I mean? I, I'm not going to say they weren't strong enough because everybody's strong. But it, it, what it is is that they weren't as solid in their walk as they should be. And I'm not saying everybody has to be at a, at a certain level, but as long as you keep on pushing and keep on going forward, God is going to meet your needs. He's going to restore you. He's going to bless you. He's going to make everything that's fallen apart, everything that's broken, brand new. But you have to, you have to believe. You have to know who God is. You know what I mean? And those storms are there to build you and make you the person you are. Just know that there's people that are looking to you, your family members, your kids, your loved ones, you know. You know, me and my wife have gone through our share of, of, of stuff, you know what I mean? Nobody says, nobody says that we're perfect, but as long as we keep on striving, as long as we keep on pushing forward, no matter what, you know what I mean, has come our way, you know what I mean? You know, we keep on pushing because we know that, you know, you know we, we live, you know what I mean, in, in a way where, you know, we used to party and drink and do everything, but there was no satisfaction after all that. You know what I mean? Maybe for a quick moment, but after all that was done, you still feel empty, you still void. But now that I have God in my life, man, there's such a joy, there's such a peace. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not, we're not perfect. But we, as long as we build our walk with God and we love God and we surround ourselves with Christian brothers and sisters, and it's a joy. So that's just the words of encouragement today. Um, I just want to tell you guys that uh, we care about you guys. You know, we may not know who you are, 
Yeah, you know what I mean? Well, I just want to let you know that this word is for you. That Jesus loves you and he's died on the cross for you. Amen. You know, and, um, you know, before before we go into the store, I just want to just say a little quick prayer. You know what I mean? You know, you may be like, well, what's up with this? But I just want to let you know that, you know, where, where God abounds, there is love, there is peace. You know what I mean? Uh, and I just want to say a quick little prayer. Father God, I come before you right now, my God. I pray, God, for my 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 friends that are, are watching this or people that I may not know yet that I pray, God, a covering upon their life, my God. Those that are hurting, those that are broken, those that need peace, my God. Those that need to be restored, my God. I ask, God, that you begin to do something new in their life, my God. I pray, God, that you cover them, my God, that you give them traveling mercy, my God, no matter where they go, no matter what they do, my God, let them know, God, that you love them, my God, that you've forgiven them, my God. I thank you, my God, for what you've done in their lives, my God. I pray, God, right now, wherever they find themselves, my God, I pray, God, that you give them a peace. I pray, God, for those that are broken and hurting. I pray, God, that you restore their, their marriages. Their, their, their hearts, their, their love for one another. And for those that are single and those that feel a void and emptiness, I pray, God, that you just begin to do something in their life like never before, my God. I pray, God, that you fill them with love, with grace and compassion, my God. You know, amen. You know, I just want to let you know that, you know, Jesus loves you, and you know what I mean? And I, I you know, it just, I just felt led to just to share, you know what I mean? Um, you know, it's pretty cool, I, I, you know, sharing this with my wife, you know what I mean? Because I know who God is in my life. And if you want to know who God is in your life, you know what I mean? Uh, just go to a church, you know what I mean? Go to a church nearby. Bible-based. A, a Bible-based church. You know, go to a, a Bible studies. In our church, we call them life groups. Those are like care groups where they can... Every those those groups can you know meet your needs. You know what I mean they can help you grow. You can learn the Bible. You can learn who you are in Christ. The fundamentals. Amen. Amen. You know what I mean it's it's our Monday. You know what I mean and, and we're just running errands. Or, you know we're just catching up on things that we need to do. You know it's a productive day but also a lazy day. You know what I mean. But um, just want to say a shout out to to all my friends and family. Those are watching. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my wife's channel. Give us a thumbs up. Tell us what you think. Um, if you guys have any questions for us, hit us up in the comments below. Q and A. Um, we can do a Q &A. Yeah, we can do a Q and A. Uh, we're open for a lot of stuff. You know, we're cool. You know what I mean, my name's Alex. My wife Joanna. You know, I, I keep it real. I like to have fun. I like to joke around at the same time, but I know how to keep it godly. Amen. Peace Amen. out.